Hey guys, it's Nobody Lust here, and welcome to my Azure main guide video. Okay, first room is just killing the normal mobs, but funny thing is, they can actually kill you, so just be careful. It's like the moon lake, where you kill them and then they explode and you get killed by that damage. <laughs> yeah, I actually died like that as well. Just, yeah, just be careful. Oh, and they are actually quite tanky for some reason. It takes a bit of time. And when I was making this video, yeah, my um, character was actually just right fame. So, yeah. That's why it took like extra time. Anyways, when you get rid of all these mini mobs, then the real thing actually starts. Uh, the first room you need to visit is actually the one buff room. Yeah, just look at the map and get the buff room first. And then kill one of the mini boss first. Usually the tentacle, like in, if you are doing in the party, the tentacle is actually better to kill first because she's a bit annoying. Like use the apple to just melt her down. Because the anchor guy is actually really easy. And this anchor guy, you see the chains with the purple auras on it. That means it's going to be active. So what you need to do is you just need to direct the um, the Kraken's attack to it but you can also just ignore it and make that Kraken's attack hit the anchor guy because yeah if you're just right fame the Kraken's damage will be more than you actually <laughs> yeah and even if the anchor is active it's just a little bit annoying it just covers the map that's all it doesn't kill you so you can even ignore his um Berserk gimmick because yeah it literally doesn't do anything in a way it just covers a little bit of a spot just the middle and the edge that's all and I'm going to show you when you fail the gimmick actually yeah it's literally nothing in a way <laughs> and also when you actually succeed the gimmick um, you have a bit more time to do damage to him, but yeah, my um, my little minion attacked it, so it just skipped. But you get the idea. It doesn't. Yeah, it's easy, so you can just ignore the thing. And anyways, right after you kill him, um, one person will be targeted. Just need to direct that to one of the anchor, and you can see the Kraken's leg will be trapped and you can do some damage to it avoid the red zone to avoid his damage and when the time's up just go to middle and it will teleport you to the mid map and next mini boss is the tentacle girl and you will see the reason why it's better to kill her first because with the apple you can just burst her down and don't have to deal with this yeah because as you can see, she's just gonna keep go around the map and you need to dodge all these attacks. It's a bit annoying. Um, but anyways, her gimmick is that uh, while she's attacking you, you can see there's like a tentacles attack coming. So you just need to use a skill to hold her just before it lands and yes the kraken will attack her it's important to do this because um if you don't then you can see her star signs on her head gathering up once that's all gathered up then she will go into berserk after you defeat her you get to attack the tentacles again but you can see she <laughs> cries and there's like this green orbs all around the map yeah you <laughs> need to dodge that Um, someone asked me, like, why would you attack the tentacles anyway? Oh, because if you do it now, the final boss HP will be reduced that much. So, yeah, you might as well attack the tentacles and make it lower so your phase 2 of the last boss becomes easier. And phase 1 of the last boss. Okay, so this one, I will, um... Repeat the video 
a lot, pretty much. Like, like usually I'll explain each gimmick and just cut, 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 cut. But this one I'll just let it go, and so you guys can get familiar with the gimmick, because he's just gonna repeat all this gimmick over and over and over again, and he's really tanky. So you actually have to do this gimmicks multiple times. Anyways, the first gimmick. When this happens, look at the Krakens. Just watch where his um, head is uh, heading. And you see the tentacle is blocking the way. You have to direct that guy into that tentacle. So it removes the tentacle. And so you can dodge the Krakens attack. And whenever um, the bow in the middle, like I will destroy you, is almost filled, you just need to jump and lastly direct the Kraken's attack to him because Kraken does a lot of damage oh and when he screams like that you can see lots of puddles that get summoned and yeah I got killed by that so be careful just avoid the puddle and when the gimmick's about to end you just need to time it right and press jump and you can see the whole map is covered with a puddle but don't worry because the Kraken will remove the puddle avoid the Kraken's attack twice and yeah you can see there's a safe spot and after that make the attack direct to the guy so the Kraken will do damage to him because yeah the Kraken actually does a lot of damage And this one, just look at where the Kraken head is, and then go to opposite side. Wait, when the bar is almost filled, jump. Stay in the middle to avoid the attack. Then wait for the gimmick to start. Again, look at the Kraken's position, and then direct him into the opposite side. Jump, avoid the breath, and then avoid the tentacles that's coming at you. And when this gimmick happens, you can see you actually float in the air. And when you land on the ground, you can just hold on to quick rebound until the gimmick's over. But you can just also find the safe spot and stand there. But it's easier for you to just press the button, like hold on to quick rebound. And I think that's enough for phase 1. Just remember the re important thing is that when the bar is almost full, you know, when he says like, I will destroy you, then you just need to jump. Oh, and try to direct the tentacle's attack to him, because the tentacle actually does a lot of damage. Oh, and yeah, if you, well, if you are just right fame, it will do more damage than you, so... <laughs> Okay, when phase 2 start, as soon as he start, stand behind him because he will block the Kraken's attack. So now he's actually your ally. Well, he was actually getting controlled by Kraken, but yeah, anyway. So he's gonna help you. Um, direct all the Kraken's attack to him because he's going to block for you. And you get to attack the tentacles, like just normal attack it. Just important part is just getting rid of the tentacles that's blocking you and again just oh, press jump whenever the bar in the middle is almost full press jump to avoid attacks so like like, like the old time it spins or grammar thing just jump oh and if you don't direct the Kraken's attack like at this moment He's going to repeat this non-stop. So direct the Kraken's attack to your helper. You can attack Kraken's head. 
and the gimmick will be over. And that will be it for the Azura main. Next video will be the Temple of the Death.